Narnia Quiz Chapter 7 through 12. On their journey to see Aslan, where did the beavers and the children stop for the night? This is number one. A cave, a tree, another dam. Number two. A wolf rushes up to tell the witch that Magram has been killed. What does he want her to do? Take him home? Battle for revenge? Give him a hug. Three, what was happening in the camp when Peter, Susan, and Lucy woke up in the morning after they had arrived? Aslan was talking to Edmund. Aslan was talking to the witch. Mrs. Beaver told them their brother was lost. Four, what did Mr. Beaver say he had noticed about Edmund? He was a very angry person. He had the look of one who had spoken to the witch. He had the look of one who had eaten the witch's food. Five, what woke the beavers and children up from their deep sleep? Jingling bells, a fox outside, a loud scream. Six, when Edmund found it, where did the white witch's house set, or was it? Between two hills, between two rivers, on top of a mountain. Number seven. The dwarf comes to Aslan's camp with a message. What is it? The dwarf demands to have Edmund. The witch begs for mercy. The witch wants to speak to Aslan. Number eight. After Aslan welcomes the beavers and the children, what does he ask? Where is the fourth? How is your journey? Have you met the white witch? Number nine. How did the White Witch react to Edmund's news about Aslan? She told the Dwarf to bring him some Turkish delight. She told the Dwarf to get the sledge. She locked him in her dungeon. 10. The Witch decides to dispose of Edmund in the woods instead of waiting until they reach the stone table. What happens before she has a chance? The Dwarf turns on the Witch. Edmund runs away. Edmund is rescued by Aslan's army.